All right, let's talk about all these different shipping terms that you might hear from the supplier that you choose to purchase products from. I'm talking about the Alibaba marketplace here. Now this can be really confusing. We've got all these different terms, FLB, EXW, DDP. So let's just take a quick look here at what they mean. FLB stands for free on board. And sometimes, in fact, very often, when you get a shipping quote from a supplier on Alibaba, they will give you what's called an FOB quote. And it will say in the email, it's an FOB quote. It stands for free on board. And it basically means the seller is responsible for and pays for getting the goods to the point of transport. EXW is another one that you might see. So you might get a quote from a supplier that says EXW. It stands for X works and it means the supplier doesn't have any responsibility for getting the goods to the point of transport and their only responsibility is to produce the goods. However, it really doesn't matter whether they quote you FOB or EXW because they'll be giving you a door-to-door -door quote. Now you need to double check this with a supplier. So when you get a quote, go back to the supplier and ask, is this door to door just to confirm. But suppliers do understand that you're looking for a door to door quote. So whether they give you FOB or EXW is really irrelevant, providing it's door to door. Now, what else have we got? Well, we've got DDP and this stands for direct duty paid. And what this means is that any customs fees and tariffs, and this includes VAT if you're importing to Europe, all this is paid in advance. So it's paid by the seller, but of course you're paying for it along with your shipping quote. So if you ask for a DDP quote, that will include all the fees and tariffs paid in advance. Now the advantage of that is that it means that you can ship direct to Amazon even if you're in Europe or in Canada where customs fees are always imposed at the border. So this is a real plus. DDP can be really, really useful and it's especially useful when you want to ship directly to Amazon because you cannot have goods arriving to Amazon with fees imposed on them because it is the recipient who's responsible for those fees. And in that case, that will be Amazon. And they won't pay. They'll just reject the goods. But by using DDP shipping, that means you can have goods shipped directly to Amazon in Europe or the UK or Canada because all the fees are paid in advance. So when the goods arrive at the destination, there are no fees on them. They're completely clear. Now, this is not the same when importing to the US because if your order is below $800 and that includes your shipping costs as well, by the way, there are no tariffs to, or customs fees to pay unless you are importing one of the types of goods that has the new tariff imposed on it. Now, these tariffs are changing all the time at the moment and I think everybody knows about this what's going on in the US with tariffs imposed on goods coming from China but at this time most of the tariffs are on industrial type goods so they wouldn't affect you now there are a few things that might affect you for example there are certain materials like silk that do have the tariffs on them for the main part though at the time of making this video these tariffs don't greatly affect you as US sellers. But the thing is, when they do, or if they do, so if and when you are affected, then you have to remember that retail prices in general will go up and everyone's going to be in the same boat. All right, now I don't want to spend much more time talking about this because it can get quite boring after a while, but many suppliers do now offer DDP or direct duty paid. And if you do happen to be importing one of the types of goods that does have tariffs imposed on it, 
your supplier or your supplier shipping agent will know about this because that's what they do and they will give you the DDP option so that you can have the duty paid in advance. All right, now what about the shipping mode? We've got air freight, sea freight or air express. So which one should we be using? Well, with air freight and sea freight, both of these require the services of a freight forwarder, but suppliers nowadays often have their own freight forwarders and they are significantly cheaper than freight forwarders that we could get in our own country. So the Chinese freight forwarders are cheaper and suppliers often have access to their own. Now, sea freight is slow and it can take even up to 60 days. So that's something to be mindful of, but it is cheaper. However, it doesn't always work out cheaper and probably wouldn't work out cheaper on a small order because there will still be extra fees for a freight forwarder. So I hope that makes sense. Now, Air Express does not require a freight forwarder. It's fast, it's easy, and it's suitable for smaller orders, which I hope that you'll be starting out with. But it is a little more expensive and, well, it can be quite a bit more expensive, but on a smaller order, it doesn't usually work out more expensive because I've just explained with the freight forwarders fees on a smaller order, it's not normally worth it. So Air Express and door-to-door -door shipping is most likely the type of shipping that you will be using. All right, now you can discuss this with your supplier and make sure that you've got the best option for shipping to wherever you're shipping to. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.